In the past year, more than half of American children who struggle with speech and language received some sort of therapy. That's according to the National Institute on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders. In the Minot area, a clinic at Minot State offers evidence-based practices in speech, literacy, and more. In addition to serving the community, the clinic also gives students the chance to apply classroom lessons to the real world. Kiona Rivera headed to campus to learn more about the program. For the Norby family, they knew their two-year-old son, Case, needed help with his speech and pronunciation skills. When a child can't communicate, it's frustrating. Case is now four and he attends speech therapy twice a week at the Communication Sciences and Disorders Clinic at Minot State. As his dad says, he looks forward to it all the time. Because everything. Each session is 50 minutes. He was trying to tell us something or something that he needed and he was having a hard time explaining that or you know, getting the word out correctly. Can you do it? Matt says he's seen improvement in the past three months thanks to Case's clinician, Sierra Nordlaw. Watching him like get so excited when he says words right and when I give him praise, he's just as excited. Oh. The sessions are led by 30 undergraduate and graduate students. They are supervised by 11 certified and licensed speech language pathologists or SLPs. Give experiences before students leave campus for their externships and ultimately to set them up for success in the profession. The supervisors say there is a need for more SLPs nationwide. Part of their goal is to tap into high schoolers who may be interested in the profession. Clinicians also provide services at various preschools in the area, but they share one main sentiment the rewarding aspect of the job. I was able to work with adults at the clinic, which really changed my perspective. I've seen a change, even like if it's something so simple, like they said one more word today. I learn best with like hands-on learning. For some, their passion stemmed from once being that kid who went through speech therapy or having family members who've gone through it. My speech pathologist was so much fun um, and I loved spending time with her. Those social interactions that are really important to development and also just um, overall quality of life. Like many intervention services, speech therapy requires work at home and in the therapy room. In Minot, I'm Kiona Rivera reporting for your news leader. Now, the clinic is open to both children and adults. It's a donation based service located in Memorial Hall at Minot State. Graduate students take part in four semesters of clinic on campus before going out in the community for their practicum in their final semester. They've provided services to more than 200 families each year at their 20 room facility. If you want to learn more about the program or if you're interested in their services, you can look for this story on our website.